Hello guys, I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke, and today we're gonna to be looking at some very tall people indeed. Now all the people on this list have been measured at over eight foot tall at some point in their life, but sometimes it can be quite hard to verify exactly how tall they were. But this is our best attempt at putting them in some sort of order for you guys. So sit back, relax, and try not to feel too short as we dive into our top 10 tallest people of all time. All right, starting this off at number 10, we have Brahim Takiula. Now he's actually joint 10th alongside a guy called Morteza, but I could only choose one to be at number 10. I'm afraid, so sorry Morteza, you're still pretty tall though. Born in 1982, Brahim is from Morocco and stands at 8 foot 1. He underwent treatment in Paris in 2006 to help treat the tumour that was causing his unstoppable growth. Now thankfully, it worked and the growth hormones in his blood returned to a normal level. Despite this though, Brahim is still famous for apparently having the largest feet on the planet at 15 inches and he actually has specially designed shoes to help support his weight. Alright, next up for our number 9 now, we have Bernard Coyne. Now he was born in 1897 in Iowa and when he was conscripted into the US Army during World War 1, he was measured at being 8 foot 2 inches tall. Bernard had something called Daddy Long Leg Syndrome, which involves his body totally ignoring the release of estrogen that's telling him to stop growing. Bernard died at the age of just 23 from a glandular disorder that left him with a hardening liver. At this point, some reports even put his height closer to 8 foot Four. All right, next up at number eight, we have Don Cola. Born in 1925, Don was of normal height until he shot up at 10 years old and eventually reached 8 foot 2 inches tall. Now, if any of you guys watching this remember the 1970s, you might remember Don as the tallest person in the world at that time. What's interesting about him is that he actually had a twin sister who didn't share his extraordinary height. She remained at 5 foot 9 inches tall, which meant the two held a world record for the biggest difference in height between two twins at 29 inches. Moving on to number seven, now we have Vikas Upal from India who was born in 1986. Although he was never officially measured by Guinness World Records, there have been a number of other organizations that confirmed his height was 8 foot 3 inches, making him the tallest man in India. Over the years there were a number of publications that put his height all the way up to 8 foot 10, which would have put him at the number 2 spot on this list, but most people think that's a bit of an exaggeration. He had huge proportions, his hands were actually said to be 13 inches long and his feet 19 inches, but he did appear to be totally in proportion. Sadly though, Vikas died in 2007 after a failed brain tumour operation. Ok, for our number 6 now guys, we have Sultan Kosen. Born in 1982 in Turkey, Sultan is currently the tallest man in the world, standing at 8 foot and 3 inches. Here's a picture of him with the shortest man in the world at that time. Look at the difference. Like others on this list, he actually had a normal childhood until the age of 10, a which point he rocketed over 6 foot tall. His growth was caused by a tumour in his brain and it showed no signs of stopping into adulthood. In 2010, doctors attempted to remove the tumour by focusing radiation at it and amazingly, it worked. It was a success. As of 2012, Sultan has officially stopped growing, but nobody seems to be taller than him yet. Alright, coming in at number 5 now, we have Edouard Beaupré. Born in 1881, Edouard is the tallest Canadian on this list and stood at 8 foot 3 inches tall. He was the oldest of 20 children, yes, 20. At age 9, he was 6 foot 1, that's the same height as me. But it wasn't just his height that made him remarkable, Edouard was also an impressive strongman. At the age of just 17, he reportedly lifted up an 800 pound horse. He also spoke French, English and 3 Native American languages. He spent the next 6 years touring with a circus before dying from a pituitary gland tumour at the age of 23. Alright, moving on to our number 4 now, we've got Vaina Mylyrin. He was from Finland and was once the world's tallest living person. Interestingly, he was also the tallest soldier of all time as he was part of the Finnish Defence Forces. On multiple occasions throughout his 20s, he was measured at being 7 foot 3 inches tall, but interestingly, Vaina actually underwent a growth spur in his late 30s and shot up over a foot to 8 foot 3 inches tall. Now if that wasn't impressive enough, he also apparently had huge hands that spanned the size of a bowling pin. What? Alright, coming in at number 3 now, we have John F. Carroll. This is an interesting one because John's case has been disputed over the years. He was born in 1932 and by age 27 he was measured at exactly 8 foot, but 
John had a severely disfigured spine, and without it, apparently he would have been 8 foot 7 and 3 quarter inches. Born in Buffalo, New York, he became known as the Buffalo Giant after a growth spurt saw him grow 7 inches in just a few months. He was diagnosed with giantism, and although doctors tried to treat his spine condition, it did get worse, and John had actually shrunk 4 inches by the time he passed away at the age of 37. Ok, next up at number 2 now, we have John Rogan at 8 foot 9 inches. John was born in Tennessee in 1865 and was apparently a normal size up until the age of 13. Then he underwent a massive growth spurt that left him needing crutches to even stand up. By age 17, he couldn't walk at all. Unable to work for a living, John would stand at the train station and sell portraits of himself to curious tourists. He was said to always be friendly and easygoing. Although everybody knew he was probably the tallest man alive at that time, he wasn't officially measured until his death in 1905 and was buried under concrete to stop curious scientists from trying to study him. Alright, and finally, at number 1, we have the tallest human of all time, Robert Wadlow. Robert is the tallest confirmed living human of all time, standing at 8 foot and 11 inches, just 1 inch shy of 9 foot. His extraordinary height was caused by hypertrophy of the pituitary gland, which resulted in his body producing way too many growth hormones. Robert was born in Illinois in 1918. At the age of 5, he was already wearing clothes meant for 17 year olds. The following year, he actually outgrew his own parents, and by the time he was 8 years old, he stood at 6 foot 2. That's actually an inch taller than I am now. Now, sadly, Robert died due to an infection from a leg brace at the age of 22, and it took 12 pallbearers to carry his coffin. Well, guys, there you have it. There was the tallest of the tallest human beings of all time. What did you think about them? What do you think it would be like to be that tall, and what did you think about that list? Also, who's the tallest person you know? Whatever your height, thoughts and opinions are, leave them down there in the comment section below, along with your suggestions for our future videos here. Make sure you subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 so you don't miss out on our daily videos here on this channel. My name is Danny Burke, you can find me on Instagram somewhere down there, and I'll see all you guys in the next one.